So we can make a new string team and we can give it the variable name to reference it. We'll call that variable str1. When we use an assignment statement, those are the ones with the equal sign. If we say str1 gets the value of this new string team, that creates a remote control that references that new string. When we create str2 and don't give it a value, we just get one of these null references. So now it's not referencing any strings. It's just null. If we make a string array with length 3, that creates three variables that can each hold a reference to a string. They look a lot like str1 and str2 variables over there. So on the left hand of that, we said that it had the variable name arr. So that one we needed this type of variable because it holds a reference to an array, just like the references to an int array. And if we say string array arr gets the value of a new string array with three elements, that assigns a reference that points to that array. It's important to note that all three of those variables inside of the string array are null. You could imagine we could set them. So I'll make a new string called hello, that's the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, I'll say array at index one, so it's zero, one, two, is gonna reference that hello. I could also say that array at index two, so it's zero, one, two, gets the value of str1. So remember when we use get, we get a copy of what's in this variable. So we got a copy of the variable there, which is a reference that points to team. And so here we got a copy of that variable. We got a reference that points to team. I'm sorry if it's a little distracting that this one's paper and this one's plastic, but I ran out of these. So remember when we made this new array, we hadn't created any strings and we hadn't set any of those values. So they all started at that default null, just like our string two did. Here's the code. See if you can trace it just like we did in the video. 